Hey, what's up guys, it's Paz, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to transfer any inscription from Sparrow Wallet to another wallet. And for this example, I'm gonna be using something from a small collection I made called Pixel Block. All right, so I just recently received this inscription and I'm just gonna title it Pixel Block number five. Always recommend labeling your uh, UTXOs just because it's it's easier to navigate through. So next thing you wanna do is you wanna go over to your UTXOs. You wanna go over to the one that you're wanting to send to a different wallet hit send and now we have to fill this out now i want to send this to this address just make sure you're receiving it in like a, a tab root address so i paste it in here i'll label it pixel block number five and one thing you want to make sure is you want to make sure this is selected and i think it will always be selected but just want to make sure that that's hit and you also want to make sure that this slider is set on high priority obviously this is going to change with more transactions coming in within the block i always recommend just going with 30 like no matter what you'll always be high priority and it just doesn't doesn't hurt you know um it's just a couple cents more i'd say and then you want to make sure that you're always going from one input to an output of one with a transaction fee and one thing i didn't cover is that you want to make sure that your offset down here is always set as zero essentially what that means is that the inscription is put on the first satoshi and why do we need this well if we do a transaction like on sparrow wallet usually the first sat is not going to be used to pay a fee right it's going to be like the later sats and to give an example this inscription has 6600 sats so it's going to take all the sats that are at the highest point, which is why it's always important that you want to make sure that the high fee is at the bottom. So it's actually taking the, the later on sats compared to like the first set. So always make sure high fee is at the bottom and that your, your output for your description is at the top. And after you check that, you want to do create transaction, finalize, make sure that you take another good look at this, just making sure that you have one input and then you have your inscription output on the top with the fee on the bottom, hit sign, put in your password and then broadcast the transaction. And now we just simply wait. So what should happen is that this address should be in this position once the confirmation goes through. And if you're interested in looking at the transaction, you can obviously copy the transaction ID and paste it in here. And then once it's actually confirmed, then we could go back and check. All right, and it seems like the transaction just went through. So when I refresh, the last four letters in this address bar should be FTTP. And just like that, it is right there. And I believe if I also do the inscriptions command and then look for the ID starting in 462, yep, it is right here, 462 FFF, and then ending in 5IO right there. And it's literally that simple. The main thing to just need to look out for is just making sure that it's one input, one output with a transaction fee, and just making sure that the transaction fee is at the bottom and that your inscription output is on the top. But that's pretty much it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Tell my holders, just feel free to reach out to me anytime. Yeah, have yourself a good day.